Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Representing the Grapplers from Paris, France, Lady Destroyer. I don't always agree with it, but this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. And coming into this matchup, there's been a fire burrowing inside of this superstar. Well, she certainly has the look of someone that's tired of being taken lightly, angry at the disrespect she's been shown. She'll be looking to take out all that anger throughout the course of this match. And Charlotte Flair, as talented as they come, but still always scheming, always conniving. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's called knowing how to execute a plan, Saxton. Charlotte knows what she needs to secure a win, which, last time I checked, is simply the mark of an expert to the sky. Slow match down to a pace that suits her and her game plan. Would you agree, Corey, that the key to taking Charlotte down would be to refuse to work her pace? Absolutely, Cole. You keep a faster pace, you keep up your chance at disorienting Charlotte. In the cover. Gets the shoulder instantly. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. From the top, she certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Isolating the arm. Enough already. 
Quaid changes the direction of that one. Bam, what a slap. Uh-uh. Oh, chop. She can end it here. Setting him up. Oh, oh, need him. Yes. That's going to hurt. Charlotte with the boot. That was the brilliant mind of Charlotte on display, working in tandem with her natural, God given talent. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Charlotte going for the figure four. Once she locks it in, if she can bridge out to the figure eight, this one's over. Locked in tight. Charlotte into the bridge. Figure eight locked in deep. Nowhere for her opponent to go. Gonna have no choice here. There's no escape. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. What? This could do it. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. Absolute state.